Hey guys, it's Jay. So I'm like just sitting outside of a Barnes and Nobles. Got a couple things, but that's not important. Um, I wanted to come on here because I wanted to just talk about BTS and the fact that they they now have the number one song in the country. And I'm still in disbelief. I'm still in disbelief. Like, bro, like this is like this is legit. This legit happened. Like, I remember saying to myself last week, bro, like, this shit gotta go number one. The fact that, like, they've been playing this bitch all over the radio. Well, not all over the radio, but, like, at least the top 40 stations out here. Yeah. Like, they've been playing it a lot on Z100. Like, I remember hearing it, like, twice in one hour. You know your song is popping when they play your shit twice in an hour. You know what I'm saying? And just thinking about, like... It's, it's crazy, bro. And honestly, I believe in manifestation. Manifestation. I mean, because I remember, like, in interviews, like, Yungi has said they won a number one album. They won a number one song. They won a Grammy. The only thing they need is a fucking Grammy. Like, they performed at the Grammys. They were nominated for a Grammy. But, like, the fact that, you know, it's possible that they could be nominated for, you know... Like, and I'm not talking about that packaging shit. I'm talking about, like, a major category, like, best pop performance or some shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. I feel like album of the year might be a reach. And song of the year, record of the year, mm, I'm not sure. But at least, like, best pop performance, I can see them being, like, in that kind of, in that category and stuff like that. And then just thinking, like, not only them, but just like it's like shit going around that like Super M and Blackpink might be nominated for like best new. It's like it's like kind of like floating around that they could possibly be nominated for best new artist. Like I never thought in my fucking wildest dreams I ever would hear a K-pop group and the Grammys be in the same fucking sentence. Like it's it, it's 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 blowing my fucking mind but like you know just got me thinking about bts just as a whole like and i'm not and, and before i continue i'm not shitting on fans that came in 2015 2017 or hell this year i'm not shitting on y'all i'm not because y'all are important you know what I'm saying? Y'all important to how they've gotten to this point. But I'm talking about the people that have been fucking with them before even being trained. I'm talking about, like, y'all been fucking with them when they was, like, the underground and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? To, like, people that's, like, there before they pre-debut or at debut. Like, I'm talking about y'all, like, like, y'all seen, y'all seen the potential. Y'all seen the talent. And just seeing them like when they first debuted, like I remember their debut like it like literally it was yesterday. I remember I had no idea. I did not know who the fuck BTS was prior to their debut. Did not know because this is when I was still kind of early in K-pop. So pre-debut shit was like I I was completely in the dark about it. But um yeah, I just remember waking up that morning. And um, the first thing I do, I check my phone, check my messages, check my, you know, if I got any missed calls, check my email. And then after that, I immediately go to YouTube just to see like what videos came out, you know, so I'm to check out. And I remember at the time, I was following a lot of reaction channels. So I remember, if I remember correctly, it was Dre. Mr. Popo and these two guys I used to do, I used to, uh, I used to watch that do reactions. They had all three of them have released reactions to No More Dream. Um, and I was like, what the fuck is PC? I was like, what the fuck? So I remember watching, I think I remember watching Mr. Popo's reaction first. And I couldn't really get a feel of the song at first. So I was like, let me go watch the video. And I watched the video and I immediately like, like it, it, it struck my ear because it gave me reminiscence of Deep Cover, which is a song by Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Like this was like, it was like, like 
1990. When did Deep Cover come out? I want to say definitely early 90s, but regardless of the fact. Like, I ain't had a seen a group like that. I don't think I've ever seen a group like that before. Like, I mean, I would, I, I can't even say BAP because, like, BAP was hip hop, but they had more of a rock influence in their earlier stuff. So, like, honestly, like, I've never seen a group like that before. Maybe, be, maybe Big Bang, but see, I didn't really know about early Big Bang at the time. So, like, that was, like, new for me to see a group like that. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck, yo, what's this? And then, that was a rap. That was a whole rap. So, I just remember, um, so, you know, and just seeing them go from there. I remember that year, BTS and Top Dog were like the most talked about rookies of that year. Um, and then just seeing them like 2014, you know, Boy in Love, uh, School Site School Love Affair, American Hustle Life. Oh, bitch! If you if you watched American Hustle Life, you know, you know, you know, you you know, you know. Uh, Dark and Wild. Uh, you know, shit like that. Then 2015, where shit just like blew the fuck up. And then they just aim for the fucking stars since then. And it's just crazy to me. Like, I remember back in the day, if you mentioned K pop, people would say Girls' Generation, Super Junior, uh, Wonder Girls, Big Bang, Shiny. Like, they would say those groups back in the day. But nowadays, when you mention K pop, the first group you mention is BTS, um, Blackpink. Twice, Red Velvet, uh, NCT. Like I wanted, I'm trying to think of like newer groups, so like stuff like that. But like it's 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 crazy though. And then it's just like you, like I said, you've seen the progression of this group. And then it's just crazy because like these motherfuckers don't take breaks. Out of the seven years, I can't even I can't even think of a period where they were gone for like a long period of time. Like they wasn't. No, like they have been like consist they're like the definition of, of consistency. Like I mean, even during COVID, they released a whole album. So like and in Japan. So like I can't even say COVID slowed them down, because they didn't. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 just mind blowing to me. Just to see them from when they debuted to now. And, you know, watching them at the VMAs Sunday was just like, bruh. Like, I mean, the VMAs isn't what they used to be. But, like, growing up, the VMAs was like my fucking Christmas as a kid. Like, I remember just, you know, watching it every single year in my family. You know what I'm saying? Seeing people like Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, Madonna, Prince, <sighs> fucking just countless people that I loved just, you know, win awards and, and like the performances were just always fucking legendary, iconic shit. You know what I'm saying? And now seeing, you know, watching people like Gaga and Doja Cat and the baby and you know Ariana Grande and shit like that and just now seeing you know BTS with that list of people it's it's crazy it's, and then the fact that they won like four VMAs that night including you know also Blackpink as well like it's it's just like bro like it's just it's it's really it's mind blowing to me like and it's in a, in a good way it's really in, really in a good way and i'm just honestly truly just really happy you know like just i'm so proud of them you know what i'm saying they've they've worked so hard and I, and of course i'm not talk i'm not trying to talk down to any other group but this is this is about bts so like we all know how hard they work 
we all know that they've been through a lot. It hasn't been an easy road for them, but it's just like, wow. It's really like, it's amazing. It's really, honestly, truly amazing. All that they have done and accomplished in these seven years. And I can only imagine where, like, where can, like, like, where can you go from here? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I really don't fucking know. And the fact that they're winning music shows for a song that's completely in English? In Korea? I didn't even know they was promoting this bitch in Korea. Like, I'm I'm still, like, tripping off of that shit. Because I'm just thinking, like, oh, no, maybe not. But the fact that they're winning music shows for a song that's completely in English just like... <sighs> It's, it's really like it, it, it honestly just gives me and honestly I, I want to see this for other groups not just BTS I want to see this for other people I feel like I really feel like you know and it's, it was it was crazy because I saw a video and somebody was talking about the VMAs and they was kind of like laughing at BTS I wasn't surprised. I know the kind of person he is. So I I, didn't, I know someone was like, I read in the comments and they was like, yeah, I don't get it. I'm like, listen, if you don't, listen, it's, you don't have to get it. If you're not into other languages, like musically and other languages, then it, bitch, it's not for you. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's not for you to get it, period. So like, if you are just stuck in your own little fucking bubble, then of course K-pop is not... Like, K-pop, not, you're not going to get K-pop. You're not even going to get fucking Latin pop. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know people probably say the same thing about, like, Maluma and Rosalia and CNCO and J Balvin and Bad Bunny. Like, if you don't, you know what I'm saying? If you only just listen to what the fuck you listen to, you're not going to get other fucking genres of music that's not in English. You're not going to get it. And that's fine. This is not for you. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, I don't get the hype. Like, I mean, whatever. So, it's just like, I mean, that's what the fuck it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just one person's opinion. I mean, obviously, you know, people fuck, they, they, they rhyme with it. I mean, obviously, these motherfuckers wouldn't have got 100 million fucking views in a day. They wouldn't have the number one song in the country. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have people like Blackpink doing songs with Selena fucking Gomez and Lady Gaga and shit like that. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just feel like when it pertains to other people's perception of K-pop, it's like, listen, if you don't, if you don't get it, that's cool. But you don't got to shit on it either. And, like, another thing is, like, listen, not everyone that listens to K-pop is, like, a fucking teenager. I'm 31. I'm a grown-ass woman. And I listen to K-pop every fucking day. Like, and, also, and, and I also listen to other music outside of K-pop as well. But still, you know what I'm saying? So it's not just for fucking teens and shit like that. No. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to go on a whole other tangent. But regardless of that, congratulations to BTS for having the number one song in the country. Um, I honestly don't give a fuck if it, like, falls off the... If it falls from number one next week. I really don't care. Regardless, you have a number one. I don't give a fuck how long it's up there. You have a number one. So all that other shit don't matter to me. Like, I don't, like, you ain't gotta, I ain't gotta sit here and say, y'all gotta fucking break, like, Lil Nas' X record. Like, I know that's not gonna happen. And again, I really don't give a fuck about, I don't give a fuck about numbers. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about chart numbers. I don't care about streaming numbers. I don't care about view. Like, that shit don't matter to me. Like, some people, that's, like, what they live off of. But, like, girl, I don't give a fuck about any of that. I don't. So... The shit can fall to like 800, or not 800, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it can fall to like 100 next week. I don't give a fuck. 
Because at the end of the day, that shit still went to number one and debuted at number one at that. And it, it, it didn't like progress, it went straight to number one. Not everyone can do that. Not everyone can do that. Like, you gotta be, like, your shit has to be popping to just debut at number one. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, so that's my whole, you know, video. As again, congratulations to BTS. And yeah, that's really it. So I'm going to get out of here because I've been sitting out here for God knows how long. That's how this goddamn Barnes and Nobles. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.